to this magnificent channel, JCR Garage. Now, there are a few things I would like to tell you in today's video. Now, um, <coughs> I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately, uh, mostly because a lot of my date ends up in going to the hospital and back because my girlfriend is in there with some back issues. Um, so the filming has kind of taken a backseat to uh, life, essentially. Uh, I have in a couple of Mighty Car Mods videos, I have appeared in a couple of those on the MCM TV 2 channel for the Unicorn Circuit, where they uh, have submissions sent in by viewers, i.e. me, uh, for a segment called My Town and one called My Crap Car. Now, if you go back into the videos of this channel, you will find two of those uh, named I think uh, My Town for Unicorn Circuit by J.S. Garage and Minecraft Car for Unicorn Circuit by J.S. Garage. Uh, those are number one on My Town around here and on the Granada. Now these, now these two videos, they appeared in two separate episodes of the Unicorn Circuit. Uh, My Town was in episode 56 and the Minecraft Car with the Granada was in number 59. Now. <laughs> with um, the Granada, I shot it in front of the garage up there, where it always sets now as winter. Because the hill up and up from the house gets real slippery, my tires ain't that good. So I parked it up there, and of course, right behind the Granada sits the four strike escort. Now, there were a couple of comments on the Granada, if you just scroll down through that Unicorn Circuit comment section. There were a couple of comments on the Granada, and then there was a ton asking to see the Escort. Now, of course, I went through and commented on all those comments, gave them a reply, and, <coughs> well, so they would know that it was my car, and that might send some people to this channel to have a look at it. But I said that I would shoot a video of my crap car on the Escort. Now, I've been planning to do this for days, actually weeks. I just don't get around to it because I don't have the time. And now temperatures dropped even more. It's stupid cold out. I have to run outside to start up the CRV like 50 minutes before leaving just to get heat into it. And even driving it, it won't get heat. It, there's no <laughs> warmth inside the car whatsoever. If you step outside the car, it's stupid cold, but you just don't get your heat back inside the car. So I'm going to film a video on the Mark 1 Escort that is probably known as the Force Wreck. Uh, if you haven't, you can check out a Facebook page for that car. I will leave a link in the description below. It is, or the short link, is facebook.com slash Wreck Mach 1. Uh, so you can go there and check that out. There's a lot of pictures from when I started this project, uh, getting it, stripping it down, throwing a lot of garbage away, and then starting to do a few mods. I changed the front suspension for a Capri 1600 GT suspension. I had the rear axle out. I had pretty much the entire shell stripped. It was just a bare shell sitting on a bunch of pallets. I uh, got the wheels back on, all that. Test fitted an engine with out the transmission in. And then I got an engine in, built it up, you know, a bit then build it. I, Put an engine together, put it in there, you know, 1600 O-Red cam engine, and then a bolted turbo on it and all that. Uh, a lot of that is on there. I had to, of course, do a lot of things with it, and there's a lot more documentation on that in there than there is on YouTube, because I didn't start YouTube until four or five months after getting the car and having already done a lot of work to it. But, uh... There are a few things happening around here, of course. Um, I am trying to scrape up the funds to get... <laughs> I know this is going to sound silly, because I already have a bunch of cars. I mean, of course, there's the Aspen, there's the Paralene, there's the Falcon, there's the Escort, of course, the Granada, the second Granada, uh, Volkswagen uh, 1600. It's a 1600 variant. Um, that's chopped down into a go-kart thing. I just call it the beetle cart. It's called 
Actually, it's, I'm actually named it Beetlejuice. Um, you can go and check that out uh, back on this channel. Uh, but I still have this little dream. Kind of a dream. It is to have a lineup of the <coughs> old Mach 1 Fords, at least up to and with the Sierra, in a similar condition. Now, of course, you know the condition the Granada's in. It's not a good looking car, it doesn't look good. It's, well, it's a beater. It is rusted, it has holes in it, mismatched panels, dents, dings. You name it, it has it if it's bad. Well, apart from the bad engine, it doesn't have that anymore. And there's of course, these, then of course there's the Escort, uh, dents, rust, no windows, uh, mismatched panels, once again, bullet holes through it, gun sh uh, shotgun blasts at it, straight through the trunk lid, it's got a bunch of damage, but I want to get, <laughs> but I want to get the other Mach 1s, well, some of them. There are a few of them. Yeah. Of course, we can start with the oldest one, uh, Mach 1 Ford Cortina. I want one of those. I used to have a Mach 2 back when I was a kid, about this tall. <coughs> My dad actually gave it to me when I was a one year old. I want a Mach 1 Capri. I already have the Escort. I want a Mach 1 Fiesta. Now, of course, that's a tiny little thing. It's maybe as big as a Mach 1 Golf. Rabbit. Um, <clears throat> and then there is, well, I already have the Mach 1 Granada, of course, uh, well, and the Sierra. I had a 1992 Sierra 2-liter double over cam wagon, uh, just before buying the Blazer that I had on this channel. Well, traded Blazer. <coughs> I had it for about a month before I ended up scrapping it. And, um, I kind of want one again, but I want a Mach 1. And, of course, being a Mach 1 Sierra, I'm most likely going to make it a Cosworth. But we'll see if I can get one, because I really want one of those, and I'm afraid most of them are going to be real bad. Or expensive. So I have to see, but I think <coughs> if I'm going to buy something now, it's going to have to be either a Fiesta or the Mach 1 Cortina. So that's going to show up. Speaking of a Cortina, if you remember a while back, um, I did a video back in, well, late the summer with a friend of mine where we went and picked up his new car. It was <coughs> a 1984 uh, Honda Civic with basically no mileage on it whatsoever. It's bright white. Super clean inside, owned by older people. I actually had actually only had two owners before him, both were old. <coughs> and in that Honda, who, which which is now sold, uh, in the glove box in that car was this old box that has the Osram uh, logo on the lid. And in that was a bunch of old light bulbs. Now apparently, one of the older guys that used to have that car had a Ford Cortina because you can see right there it says Ford Cortina on this label and it has one of these old Philips headlight bulbs now of course it has an H4 socket on it so it is what we use as an H4 bulb these days I mean it has high beam low beam but it's this great big bulb on it and this is well it has foam in it just cut out for the various light bulbs it has one of these bulbs that's this one has either been burnt or it's tinted i think it might be tinted it has a pair of these uh valve caps with permission to get the valve out if you for some reason need that along the side of the road <coughs> it has one of these real big bulb uh, light bulbs. Uh, one of these, like a parking light bulb. Bulbs just fine. And 
this, which would be, oh, well, it's a similar range actually. Uh, this is probably 25 watts, so probably running lights at the back. Although 25 watts is a lot. <coughs> Get this thing. Oh, it's the other way around. Like that, yeah. <coughs> so he gave me this when I was there the last time because I had to fix the uh, CV joint on his girlfriend's Honda CRV. Uh, did that a couple of days ago and I got that from him, uh, which was real nice. Now was that closer to Cortina. But like I said earlier, a Mach 2 Cortina was my very first car. Also the very first car I drove. Even though I was 8 when I sold it. <coughs> uh, but that is... But the story about that is coming up in a different video that is going to be out on this channel. I am doing a brand new series. Kind of stealing the idea from Vinvicky. Uh, with car stories. I'm um, going to be using probably this background and talking about a lot of the... <coughs> I've dealt with cars and probably get a couple of my friends, maybe my brother. Uh, he runs the channel Metro Garage. There is a behind the scenes video there of one of my videos. I will leave a link to his channel in the end of this video and also down in the description. <coughs> and I will be using that series for talking about a lot of these stories about what I've done, all the stupid stuff, and a couple of funny things. Including, involuntarily, jumping a Volvo 945. Uh, destroying my mom's garden and <laughs> the Mach 2 Cortina. Uh, yeah. Smashing my Aspen into a concrete wall. And then almost a concrete pillar right after it. A uh, uh, friend of mine who now owns the... Used to be Green Lada. He... <laughs> Almost flipped his 940 sedan with two cops in the car. I'm going to see if I can maybe get him to tell a story or else I'll do it myself because I was there watching it and it was... <clears throat> well, at the point the car was like this, it was a bit, you know, hairy. But before and after it was super fun. Uh, yeah. So that's what's going to be coming up. I'm going to shoot a bunch of those videos before I air the first one. Uh, I'm going to put them on a schedule so they'll come out once a week <coughs> alongside the regular programming. So that'll be it for this time. This is a really long video. So thank you very much for watching and I really hope you stuck out to the end. Like, comment, and subscribe down below and I look forward to seeing you in a later video. Take care.